working gardens are often very limited for space. There's lots of paved areas, so it's very difficult to have the traditional compost heap on the ground. But I'm Angus Stewart, and this is Lily Van Epen, who's a specialist in small urban gardens. And we're going to talk about the compost tumbler as an option for composting in the city. What do you think, Lily? That's right, Angus. If you're like me and want to do as much as you can for the environment, but worried about limited space, then this compost tumbler could be the perfect solution for you. And it's an Australian made product, Lily. It's 100% recycled plastic, so talk about environmentally friendly. That's true, and another great thing is it's actually lifted off the ground, so it keeps all those creepy crawlies and, and mice out of your compost. So to fire up the compost tumbler, Lily, lid off. I've got some grevillea prunings here. Some nice sort of fibrous material to go down the bottom to give us some air down the bottom of the bin. Got some leaf litter as well. That all goes in. And got some finished compost here because that contains all the microbes that activate the composting process. So all the fungi and bacteria that live in the compost heap. We'll just put a couple of scoops And because that leaf litter is a bit on the dry side, it's a good idea just to put a bit of moisture in there to wet it all down. And then we're really ready for some serious composting action. Okay, and another great thing, Angus, is especially in small spaces, you've got weeds coming out of paving, running weeds, cooch kokoo, you can throw those in and that will help to kill it as well and it prevents them from touching the ground so they're going to eliminate the problem. And you can also add some shredded paper, newspaper, cardboard, anything you've got lying around. It's great for people who work in offices, often those secret documents that they want to destroy. There's no better way than to uh, compost them in a tumbler. True, it eliminates all evidence. Now you can keep adding material until the bin is about half full. You don't want to go any further than that because it makes it too hard to tumble it. But each time you add material, the lid goes on and just slides on like that. And it, the lid actually has these beautiful breather holes because the microbes that do all the composting need oxygen just like we do. They need to breathe. I have to say, Angus, city composting couldn't be any easier. 